G'day, Mr. Bill here again. Um, today I'm going to do a tutorial which is kind of a follow-up on my calculating delay times tutorial. Although today what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the rate of this LFO in Hertz. So first of all, Hertz is a measurement of cycles per second. It's also the same way that you measure frequency. Um, and what we're going to be uh, modulating with this LFO is the frequency of this filter. So this is how much of, of the oscillator it's cutting out. And this is essentially uh, what the style dubstep is based on. Uh, pretty much um, LFOs and big beats and such. So in LFO, it modulates whatever you route to it by however much you define. So if we click on either of these panels in analog, you can send multiple things to the LFO. You can send the pitch there or you can send the frequency or the resonance on the filters or the panning and the level and a couple of other things. Uh, what we're going to concentrate on today is the frequency of the filter. So here is how much we define gets sent to the LFO. So if we turn this up to 4, it means it's being sent as much as it can to the LFO, which would sound like this. And if we go negative values, it works the opposite way. So we can essentially do the same thing that we did by making that a negative value and a positive value by going to the LFO and offsetting the waveform by 180 degrees, like so. Or this. So um, pretty much what we're dealing with here is the frequency and the resonance. We're not actually going to modulate the resonance, but what the resonance is is a boost at the cutoff point. So if I put an EQ after this, just so I can show you graphically what I mean, if I boost this here and then I modulate this up and down, that's exactly what we're doing here with this frequency and resonance on this filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the rate of the LFO rather than submitting it to a, a predefined grid beat. And that way it allows us to seamlessly move from uh, different musical values, creating uh, a more exciting LFO experience, I believe. So I'll go to my calculator and the formula for this is BPM divided by 120 to get a half note. Therefore, BPM divided by 60 is a whole note and so on and so forth. So we'll do that. We'll go 110 divided by 120 equals 0 0.9, which means every two clicks of the metronome, there'll be one movement of the frequency on the filter. So if I double that 1.8, it'll be two. Every click, sorry. So if I go to 2.7, that's triplets. 3.6. And we can do all that by working it out from 0 0.9, so times that by 2, and that was the 1.8, times that by 2 again, and that was 3.6, divide that by 4, and times it by 3, and that's 2.7, which is triplets. So now we can move through all those values, and rather than having to submit to a musical value, so I'll start off at 1.8. So by this point, I want it to be going quicker. So I'll go up to 3.6, let's see. We'll see how that sounds. So rather than, that that would be exactly what was happening if you are moving it in musical values, but now we have the option to do cool little automations between these musical values. I'll just get rid of that point, add another point like this. And you can do cool little things like that all through your automation now. So we'll do another one here. We'll go right up to the top and then we'll bring it back down to 14, which should be 16th notes. Once you get up past 10 hertz, um, they don't actually give you decimal points anymore. So it's actually 14.3 where we want to go, but seems we can't do that. We'll just go to 14. Uh, by this point, I want it to be going a bit slower than that. So I'll go to... I'll get my calculator again. I will go 0 0.9 times 4 equals 3.6 times 2 equals 7.2. So we'll go to 7.2. I'll just hold my command key to make the resolution of dragging finer. So there we are, 7.2. Oh, 7.2, cool. 
So now I'll do another big automation down. I'll just go to uh, 0.9, I guess, there. Go to 0.9 again. Actually, I might go higher with that one. Maybe bring that to 2.7 so it's a triplet. bring that all the way up to the top again and come back down to say 3.6 so you get the idea basically you can seamlessly move through musical values without having to map it to Hertz uh, sorry to map it to musical values that they predefine for you. So, um, yeah, have fun with this. Uh, it's a new, interesting way I discovered to make um, interesting, interestingly LFO dubstep baselines. Um, after I did that, I probably put a Redux or something on it, and automate the values here as well. There's no real trick to doing this. This just makes it sound nice and dirty and grimy and such. We'll see how that sounds. We'll see how that sounds with the beat. So yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Um, also on the LFO you can move different values like triangle would mean that it um, it acts in a triangular waveform pattern rather than a sine wave which just goes up and down evenly like so or you can move the width to make it uh, move the opposite way so the frequencies will come from high values to low values you can also automate all of this so maybe we'll start it off like that and slowly morph it to come down to the opposite So you can do a bunch of cool stuff with this and um, yeah, have fun with it. I hope you got something out of this and enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, visit MrBillsTunes.com. Cheers.